Señoras y señores, hasta la esquina sur de Memphis Sports llega Ifri Zello. Making his way into the ring right now is a guy who's right out of central casting, as they say in Hollywood, an Eastern European prototype fighting machine. This guy, he just look at him, he looks like a fighter. He just won his 10th Hungarian National Championship. He, 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 BJ, he opened the WSB, then he flew back to Hungary to win another title, then came back and rejoined the WSB. He's well known around the world, Emery Zello, and he's had a good season so far. He reminds me a lot of how he how his looks and how his body type is of a great, great Olympic gold medalist and a cruiserweight world champion, a former cruiserweight world champion, the Chili Duroff. He's got the narrow upper body, the big legs, the type of face, exact type. He looks a lot like the Chili Duroff. See how he fights. That's a big, uh, That's a great point. <laughs> a big reputation to live up to. Making his way in now, light heavyweight from Mexico City, Javier Ortega, 21 years old. He's been boxing three years, but he is an amateur champion here in Mexico. He got the bronze medal in the Central American Caribbean Games this summer. 40 wins as an amateur, five losses. He's come a long way in a short time. He won the National Olympic silver medalist in 2009. Twice he's won the national championship. So, in the opener, he, he blew out a young man from Memphis named Robert Brent. The fight was, uh, he just hit him hard and often, and that's what Javier Ortega likes to do too. Pressure, pressure, pressure. But I think Memphis has got a big gun, light heavyweight in there today. I think it's going to be a little different task than the blowout he had earlier over Memphis, but you know, I'm looking forward to seeing a Mexican style fighter against the Eastern European Hungarian Señora, style. These guys señores, are both coming ladies, forward, and, and uh, let's see what happens. Para la siguiente pelea queda como referee Roberto Servide de Argentina. En peso semi completo in the light heavy weight division. Presentando a la esquina azul, presenting the blue corner. Participante olímpico en el 2008. Olympian participant in 2008. Su record de este torneo, tres peleas ganadas, una perdida. His WSB record, three wins and one loss. Uniéndose a Memphis Force, desde Hungría, joining the Memphis Force from Hungary. Ingrid Zello. In the esquina local, in the local corner. Como dos veces campeón nacional, two-time national champion. Su record WSB, his WS record. Tres peleas ganadas, una perdida, three wins, one loss. Desde Morelos, Mexico, all the way from Morelos, Mexico. Javier Ortega. A look at the crowd here tonight, enjoying the fights. Get a few cervezas, they get a meal. <laughs> Great boxing action. What more could you want in Mexico City? It is so far so good. Take a look at the head-to-head -head here. We've got Ortega from Mexico and uh, Emre Zello. 21 and 27, that stands out to me. Zello is a little old for you know these types of competitions, but that can also mean he has a lot of experience. Uh, those Eastern European guys, he stay amateur a lot longer. Both six foot, 179 to 185 on the weight. Records very similar in the WSP. A lot of people looking forward to this fight tonight. Zello, you know, being able to, there's your referee for this one, Roberto Servidi from Argentina, you know, able to earn some money in there and as an amateur this year. These, guys, these fighters are paid, they're, they're housed, they're fed, they got their medical insurance. It's a great deal all the way around for them, and they get to improve their boxing skills against the best in the world. You know, our amateurs disappear between Olympics, and we don't hear a lot of them, but now we've seen certainly the best in the world over the last four months in the WSB Americas. 
it's really tough for those amateur kids because when they get to the age of Zello, they can't make the money, they can't take care of their families that they most likely had at that point in their career. So they do, uh, we do lose a lot of good amateurs to pros. So I really support the WFD thing. It's beautiful. And, uh, you know, we're seeing great fights. I mean, Emery, you just mentioned it, does have a good right hand by him. 16-year-old, 16-month-old daughter. So it's time to get serious about making some money. I think we're going to see big, heavy punches this entire fight. And, and what I'm seeing of Emery already is he doesn't look like he's a guy that's got an incredible amount of torque or snap on his punches. He's a strong, physical guy. He's going to be there, and he's going to be in your face. He's going to be in good shape. Ortega lost to uh, Kennedy Katen. Excuse me. I'm wrong. <laughs> he, ha he has not lost. He beat Siju Shabazz of Miami last time out. Siju has become a better and better fighter, but Ortega just uh, does what a lot of Mexican fighters do. He stays right on top of you. Now, Emery's the one who lost to the Mexican City of fighter, uh, Kennedy Katende, who has been tough for people to deal with because he has such an awkward style. He does. He's got good head movement, good body shot for Ortega. That was there. a nice one, right on the ribs. It was. Emery's landed a couple good right hands. Good left hook again by Ortega. I think he's got his man hurt a little bit here. Caught him with a good shot there. Zello likes to just kind of pound away at you, but Ortega's got the right idea if he goes to the body. He does land a nice left hook to the body, then came back a few seconds later with another big shot. Good short right hand by Emery. Good shot. Ortega is a local product from right here in Mexico City. Great fighters throughout this country. Second most popular sport in Mexico behind, of course, soccer. Football. <laughs> Football. <laughs> and I see that Emery's bread and butter punch is kind of his right hand. He's got a lot of power in that right hand. Good right hand again. He likes to shoot it. He's got to find the range for that jab, and that'll help him raise his percentage of connectivity on that right hand because he's missing it, but you can tell he's got some power in it. And I look for it to land later. It's my good right hand again, cuffing on the top of the head. Round one scheduled for five. These are the light heavyweights. Good right hand again by Emery. Emery's in the purple trunks, in case you're wondering. No! Tough round to score, I'd imagine. It was a tough round, Alan, but I feel like Emery landed more consistent, harder shots. Ortega landed a good left hook to the body, another good shot, but it wasn't quite as consistent. Emery kind of, you know, I, I felt like he had control of the round. Let's take a look at some of it. Good punch. Good left hook, right at the tempo. There's the body shot you were talking about. Great body shot. There were some good highlights by Emory as well. They just didn't show him in that particular round. I'm still, regardless of the highlights, I'm still scoring that round. 10-9, very close for Emory. <laughs> I'm not blind. I think we were <laughs> we were taking the Mexican television feed. There. Right, exactly. The Hungarian television feed might be a little different than that. I gave him the round nevertheless. It was a close round, though. Round two, and Bonilla, Coach Bonilla was telling Ortega to get busy and uh, uh, throw punches and combinations up in the corner. I don't speak Spanish, but I know exactly what he was telling him. <laughs> I okay. do speak Spanish, but I couldn't hear it. So noisy in this gymnasium. We've got a live crowd out here tonight. Wants him to follow up, you know, keep shooting punches. Not just one punch wonder. That's the right hand I was talking about right there. This fight's over. This fight is over. He will not get up from that punch. My goodness. Just talking about it earlier in the fight. That right hand is the punch that will end this fight. This fight is done. My goodness, lightning fast. Zello with the big right hand and out go the lights. That was a flash, hard right hand. He turned it over, Alan. He shot it perfect. And I saw it in the first round. I saw that he carried the power in that, that right, right hand. hand. He turned it over so nice. He said, that's going to be the punch. He likes to carry the power. And I looked for the lady early. Didn't expect it that early. But that was a fight-ending punch right there. And that's why these fans are out here tonight. <laughs> wow. It came so quick that I didn't, I didn't even get a chance to say what it was. It was, all, it was on the canvas 
the floor I could even breathe. Watch now. Oh, I'm glad I got a chance to is. mention it in the first round. Look at this. Off the jab, lines it with that, the right hand right behind it on the top of the head. Beautiful shot. Punched down, got full extension, full leverage, and lights out. This fight's over. Wow, look how it came from right here. Right behind me, right under the ear on the temple, basically, which is a, which is a lot. lights out area when you get hit there. A legal punch, too. A legal punch. Landed a great shot. Ortega's got nothing to be upset about. I mean, he fought well in the first round, but he just got caught by a 27 year old who won 10 national, Hungarian national championships, and he really knows how to fight. So um, we're seeing a little bit of that Vasily Jurov style in him after all. That guy was a vicious puncher as well, and, uh, you know, he looks the part. <laughs> it's just so businesslike in there, you know. He, I'd like to see him have a real snappy jab, but I don't think it's going to happen at age 27. But he, that right hand is, is a, like a big ham hock coming at you. It is, and it's something that any opponent of his in the future is going to have to watch out for. It's a heavy punch. It's an accurate punch. I saw it land a few times in the first round, but it was just barely missing. Well, in the second round, it didn't miss, and uh, fight's over. Señoras y señores, tenemos el tiempo oficial. We have the official time. A los dos minutos con doce segundos del segundo round. Two minutes and twelve seconds in the second round. Vencedor por knockout efectivo. Winner by way of knockout. Imre Zello. Well, quite a nice right hand, and guess what? Thanks to victories from Raynell Williams and Emery Zello, even though they had one four for tonight in the middleweights, Memphis is in this thing, going to the heavyweight division. It is two and two in Mexico City. We take a look one more time. Look where this right hand came from. It takes us in the wrong spot, the wrong time right there. Super Pluma Vacante. In 212 of round number two, we get a knockout from Emory Zello from Hungary, and it's now Guerrero's two, Memphis Force two. Que enfrentará al tremendo Humberto Ametrallador Martínez de Colombia en este mismo lugar a partir de las 7.30 de la noche, este viernes 18. Y el sábado 19, también aquí en Vive Cuervo, no te pierdas. Campeonato Latino Peso Gallo del Consejo Mundial de Boxeo entre Jesús Estrellita Ruiz contra Ángel Michael Aguilar a partir de las 8.30. Ambas fusiones aquí en el Vive Cuervo Salón. I'm here live, BJ Flores with Emery coming off a big second round knockout defeat over a tough, tough Javier Ortega. Now, Emery, let me ask you a question. I saw the right hand landing very, very, almost landing on the chin in the first round. However, I called it in the first round that the right hand would be a big punch. Did you feel the right hand would be key in this fight? Yes, hora de darle alegría panorámica a este cuadrilátero con la presencia del performance. Partner, it's good, Con el punto Tonight, sobre la I. Very good. The right hand was a tremendous punch. A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, positive compliments out of Emery. Um, we'll look for him in the future. Very big right hand. Big performance tonight. Congratulations. Y vamos aplaudiendo fuerte para ellas.